Carmen and her group were being hunted by a pack of wolves. The group was made up of Carmen, David, Sarah, John, Rachel, Luke, Jake, Melissa, and Alex. They had been running for hours, but the wolves were gaining on them. Carmen knew that they wouldn't be able to outrun the wolves much longer. She had to think of something, and fast. Suddenly, Carmen had an idea. She yelled for the group to split up. Sarah, Rachel, and Melissa would go one way, while Carmen, David, John, Luke, Jake, and Alex went the other. The group split up and the wolves began to chase after Carmen's group. Carmen and her group ran as fast as they could, but the wolves were still gaining on them. Carmen yelled for everyone to jump into the river. They all did as she said and the wolves stopped at the edge of the river, unwilling to follow them in. Carmen and her group had made it to safety, but for how long? Carmen knew that the wolves would eventually find a way to cross the river. They would have to keep moving. The group kept moving, always aware that the wolves were close behind them. They were tired and hungry, but they knew that they had to keep going. Suddenly, Sarah heard a noise. It sounded like one of the wolves was trying to cross the river. She yelled a warning to the others and they all ran as fast as they could. The wolf was close behind them, but they managed to lose it. They kept running until they came to a cave. They went inside and rested for a while, knowing that the wolves would eventually find them. The group knew that they couldn't stay in the cave forever, so they decided to try to find a way out. After a few hours of searching, they found a tunnel that led them out of the cave. The group was relieved to be out of the cave, but they knew that the wolves were still after them. They continued to run, but the wolves were getting closer and closer. Suddenly, Sarah heard a noise. It sounded like one of the wolves was trying to cross the river. She yelled a warning to the others and they all ran as fast as they could. The wolf was close behind them, but they managed to lose it. The group kept running until they came to a road. They followed the road until they came to a town. They went into one of the buildings and barricaded the doors. The group was safe for now, but they knew that the wolves would eventually find them. The group barricaded themselves in one of the buildings in the town, and they waited for the wolves to find them. They knew that it was only a matter of time before the wolves caught up to them. Suddenly, they heard the wolves outside. The wolves were scratching at the door, trying to get in. The group was terrified, but they knew that they had to hold out until help arrived. The wolves were getting more and more aggressive, and the group was getting tired. They knew that they couldn't hold out much longer. Just when it seemed like the group was about to give up, they heard the sound of gunfire. The wolves were being shot, and they were retreating. The group was relieved, but they knew that the wolves would be back. They had to find a way out of town before the wolves returned. The group decides to leave town and find a place to hide. They find a cabin in the woods and barricade themselves inside. The group is safe for now, but they know the wolves will find them eventually. The group hears the wolves howling outside the cabin. They know the wolves are coming for them. The group decides to make a run for it. They all make it out of the cabin safely, but the wolves are right behind them. The group is being chased by the wolves. They run into a clearing and the wolves catch up to them. The group is surrounded by the wolves. They are about to be attacked when someone starts shooting the wolves. The group is saved, but they know the wolves will be back.